also using free designs. You will have found if you just Google free SVGs, you'll find um, a huge amount available to you. Is a site that I found that's got some gorgeous um, different designs, um, all of which seem to be free. Uh, if you want to use them for just personal use, um, there is a donation of $3, I think, on the one that I found if you wanted to use it um, to sell. So the one I found uh, had create to inspire. So we'll just do a little search up here. Yep, yeah, there it is, that middle one. This is the design I wanted to have a little play with. Um, SVG, PNGs, it's available in all of them. That's the design that you will get. A little example of it being used. 100% um, free for personal use. Download, edit, cut and make. Um, as long as you're just using it for that, that's fine. If you wanted to use it, as I said before, commercial license, license is available at $3. So you just hit download. It will put it in your downloads folder on your computer. Uh, I think I've already downloaded this one before, but then inside you will find it in all its different formats. I think there's a JPEG there as well. So I've got that saved and I've also got my Canvas workspace open on this computer. I tend to use the downloaded version rather than the online. I think it's got a few more features, but that seems to be personal preference. So once you've got it in the folder and it's accessible, bring in your Canvas workspace and you're going to use the little bit on the left hand side that looks a bit like a spade from a pack of cards. And that's your image tracing option. So choose your image. I've got it there. There's my create to inspire. I'm going to open that. And then it's automatically going to trace the outline. So you can see that blue line, but it's missing these holes here. And that's because actually that's inside the design. So if you change to trace by um, color, then it will pick all of those up. You can change how many colors, but this is just black and white. So it picks that up nice and easily. Click OK. Um, it will always bring it in massive. I don't know why. Um, you can just make sure you've selected it all before you resize and then it will resize perfectly in relation to itself. Um, I'm just going to turn this to, I'm going to fill it because that's small and the pen I use is just going to leave a tiny gap. Now at the top here, change to draw. So this is something I'm just going to draw on a piece of white paper. It's a bit of a test, but also it should look nice. And you'll see where these holes are in the letters in the R, in the A, in the S, um, the P and the O. You can tell it sort of looks a little bit darker. That's just because it's a double double line. Um, so there's the, the outside edge and then the, the hole, as it were. So you can just select those and delete them. And then as you highlight the separate areas, you'll see they aren't there anymore. Yeah, so we are good to go. And this is in its draw. It's all set to draw. So I will send this over to my scan and cut wirelessly. And it will be there. So retrieve data. That's Wi-Fi. And there it is on my mat ready to go. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to choose draw. It was all set as a draw file. Yep, that's good. So I'm just going to get to my pen holder. Choose any colour. I think I've got blue. Yes, blue here. So just place that into the holder, click it into place. The pen lid goes in top so you don't lose it. I've lost them before. Secure that into place and press start. And that's it. This free uh, design that you've downloaded will be created by your scan and cut. And you'll see the two is filled. I love seeing this do it. That's it. So if you just wanted to draw it, that's how you do it. If you wanted to uh, cut this out and I'm going to cut it out of vinyl, select it all and change to cut. Um, the two, it won't make any difference if it's filled or not now. So again, just select all. Now, if you wanted to cut this out of uh, heat transfer, you would use this flip option. Uh, that's because heat transfer obviously is put on um, backwards onto the garment. I just control Z and go back to uh, legible let's say because I'm just using um, self-adhesive vinyl so I've sent that over to my machine now and same again retrieve the data and that'll be the latest one that you sent over so there it is on the mat okay and I'm going to choose cut this is all a cut file now and I will do a test let's just put it on half cut first that's where it would be I've already got it on I always do a test with vinyl
make sure your vinyl is really stuck down on your mat and the test cut will just cut a very small shape out of it so you can make sure it's not cutting all the way through and the half cut's working perfectly and you don't have to change any settings so here i've got a little triangle i'll just put it right at the bottom so it's out the way it will tell you if you've got the wrong holder in i selected cut and i haven't got a blade in so thank you scan and cut for letting me know and the blade is now in so i can hit start and this one peels off perfectly. It leaves the backing and it's just the vinyl. So we know we are good to go. We can hit start and the machine will do its thing. So this one I am going to weed and then put on a just a cheap canvas I've got. I might glitz it up a little bit first. This is the bit we call the weeding. I like doing this bit. Um, take out all the bits that you're not going to use. And there we go. Yeah, you might recognise that to have herbs in, but I use that to store my glitter. Probably got more glitter than I have herbs. So I'm just going to put some glue adhesive on the top of the canvas. Chuck a bit of glitz on, a bit of a thicker layer there. And then I will put my vinyl cut onto it. So this is transfer tape. Now you can get all sorts of widths and sizes. Um, the only one I had in my stash though was a roll. And as long as you overlap them, um, it will work fine, even if it's a wider design than the uh, tape you've got. So just make sure that's all stuck on before you line it up onto your canvas. Stick it on and again, make sure that's really stuck down before you peel off. Create to inspire.